Here we go. <laughs> We're officially recording. Well, welcome everybody. This is our final one, isn't it, Marianne? It is. Oh, it seems like it flew by so fast. And, um, and I'm hearing that people are able to take some of these tools and apply them and start to um, recognize how these tools can help. So that's that's amazing because you can talk about them all day long, but until you <laughs> try to actually put them, implement them, you don't you don't really know. It's like learning anything. You've got to you have to cognize it and then and then put it to use. So that's really really great. And um, and I'm sure that having the videos up on replay on the, the YouTube channel are really helpful for people too. So just as a reminder, those are up there. This one will be up there as well, probably by tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, and um, also the first video uh, does have some visuals in it, so it would be a good idea to um, watch the video to watch it because it does have that that particular one had visuals in it, some drawings and things. So, and sometimes that little bit just makes a difference. At least it does for me. So again, welcome, welcome. So really so excited that you're here, that we're all joined together again to continue this, um, continue developing this skill set of noticing what we're noticing and to um, especially noticing where we place our energy because um, that's really at the core uh, for everything, um, because ultimately it comes down to that connection. And in week one, that's what we talked about. So energy, um, all the basics of where your attention is going, that's where your energy is going. So where you're placing your attention is where your energy is flowing. And then, and how you, uh, and how you create uh, your reality. Is, is determined by where you're placing your attention. And um, as a quick uh, reminder that the, there was this formula, thoughts um, lead to feelings, lead to actions, lead to results, or the reality that you're creating. And so in week two, we went a little bit deeper and we talked about the personal broadcasting system and this system is constantly communicating with, um, with itself, with all the different bodies, the four bodies that we have, energetic bodies, and then with the world around us. And so with this system, it, it ultimately has um, uh, this transmission, this communication, and it's a frequency. So much like a radio, sig radio um, signal, it has a frequency and what it does is attracts to you or to your life what you most resonate or vibrate with. And so that is, um, is really um, uh, something that is connected to not what you do. It's always about your state of being, how you're showing up in each moment. And so that state of being is a combination of those energetic bodies, especially your thoughts and your feelings. And uh, so um, tune in or go back to uh, week two to, to play with that a little more. And then in week three, we focused on interrupting the limiting um, loops that we have. So in other words, those patterns, those programs, and those are all based in the past because they are either habits or attitudes or beliefs or even expectations that we have that have been conditioned inside our body. We can almost anticipate them ahead of time. And so that in itself can limit us because, you know, it's sort of like that movie Groundhog Day. You, you wake up and you do kind of the same thing over and over again until you choose differently. 
And once you choose different, once you become aware and choose differently, then, the, then it changes um, your, your life for you. So that is um, kind of a, a quick summary of where we're at. And I, what I want to say is in today's, um, in today's session, uh, week four, as well as all the previous weeks, my intention, I'm going to be very transparent here and in my communication style, is that the words that I'm saying, how I'm feeling, um, what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling is the vibration of what I'm trying to, what is being emitted to you. So there is, it's, I'm going to call it a new way of communicating. I mean, we, we do this. Um, when it's done by intentional design, it can up level anything and everything around us. And so it is about this heart to heart connection with each of you individually, even if you're hearing this on a replay and I don't see you know you here right now in this particular uh, live session, there's always a connection to you because of um, we are all interconnected. And so, and so um, there is actually a frequency that I would, that I'm, um, that I'm emitting that's about lightening up your life, really stepping into those possibilities at play so that you can thrive while you're going through transitions, while there's tremendous change going on. Why not? Why not um, ride that and, and up level with it? Okay. So today is um, is going to be it's going to be more about an experience. And before we do that, um, I know a, a few more people have joined. Um, hi Herbert. Hi Daniela. Welcome. And um, I'm just. Wondering if anybody has any questions so far before we, we start into week four information. Make sure you unmute yourselves if you have a question or a statement. <laughs> nope, no one yet. All right. Nia, is there anything you wanted to add? Um, just that I think that, that uh, as important as the tools are that you're giving people, um, everybody, you, you've got to understand too that an important aspect of this is that you are learning to refine your own guidance system. So you can't take yourself out of the equation. In other words, if someone says to me, Nia, you need to drink um, you know, eight ounces of water to quench your thirst, and I start guzzling it and it's just going all over myself and I'm ready to throw up. It's up to me to go, whoa, 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 that's too much. <laughs> or I need more. And you're, so all the tools that Marianne is giving you, it's an invitation to insert them into your lives and, and feel how your body is responding to it and take notice of things like how you respond to it, how it makes you feel, um, out, is your brain busy? Is your body giving you a certain feeling around these things? Because ultimately it is your own guidance system um, that you will be relying upon. And these are tools to get you to that. So keep in mind, there's two things happening here. And that's why one of the statements is take what resonates with you. Because if it resonates with you, it means it feels like, yeah, 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 I get that. And that ability to, to do that, to not throw any, the baby out with the bath water, but to pull that's the of um, anything, any story, any list of tools, uh, any facts or fiction, whatever it is, and find the truth in it that resonates with you at that moment is being guided by your higher self. And so that's the, that is the, the, the other thing that's happening here. So I just want to encourage everybody to, to be compassionate with yourselves as you move through this. And, uh, and then it'll become a fun game so that you have a more personal relationship with your higher self. That's what these tools are for. Thank you. That was beautifully said. And um, that game, it becomes really playful um, when, when we approach it that way, because um, it, it, um, 
it provides clues for us for the next steps and or direction or um, any kind, any guidance that we may need in the very next moment. Um, so being open to that is really, really helpful. And uh, Michelle, do you have a question? I thought, okay. I thought I saw it pop up for a second. Okay. So um, this week is about shaping your future and, um, and welcoming it in. And so we, you know, each of us has this vision or an idea or a movie in our mind of what we want our life to be like, right? And with that, um, there's something that we either desire, we have this great desire, a heart's desire, or this longing for, and it's, um, we're going to call that an aspiration. There's something about the word aspiration that energetically, vibrationally um, pops, <laughs> things open for us. So when, when we speak about our own aspirations, it, there's an excitation in your body and in your cells that starts the process of, <gasps> You know, there's like this, oh, oh, it, it lifts us up. And so for, for today, we're going to work with aspirations and the future because um, in this final session, it's about creating um, your future based on one of the aspirations you're going to select for yourself. So in this moment, um, if you have a piece of paper handy, um, write down three three aspirations that you have for yourself and they can be anything they can be um let's see health related um family friends related um business related creativity related uh wealth related any area relationship so I'll give you a couple set, uh, you know, a little bit of time to, to select three aspirations for yourself. Write them down. Whatever comes into your mind. Bring it forward and write it down. Because we're going to connect with one of these aspirations in the in the um, experience today. So when you do have three down, let me know, those of you on video. Okay. We have a couple people all set. Okay. In the chat, I'm seeing we have, yep, some people are already there too. Okay. Okay. So as long as you have at least, um, you know, a couple, take a look, tune into those three aspirations that you have written down, and then identify the one that is most calling you in this moment. And once you have that identified, let me know.
process that we're going to do or the, the tool that we're going to work with, you'll be able to do it again and again with, with your other aspirations that you've identified. You'll be able to play with it. So once you have it, give me a thumbs up. And once you've identified your aspiration. This is going to light up your heart. Ready? Okay. Got it. I'm getting a several got it, got it. <laughs> okay. Ready? Everyone else all set? Yes? Okay. And what we're going to add to it is the, 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 the thought or the aspiration is the vision, the, the, um, what, what the heart's desiring and what you're longing for. And yet we know what draw, you know, the thought is what elect, electromagnet, um, elect, it's the electric charge that goes out to those possibilities. And it's the magnetic or the feeling part that draws it into you. And so the second piece of this is the feeling part. And many of us have been default to the feelings that we just have in each moment. And yet we can generate the feeling that we desire on command and learn how to do that. And by um, ma uh, marrying the thought with the feeling together and elevating that, that raises the vibration or frequency of what it is you desire. And um, I don't know if I told you this example, and let me give you, um, I was packing um, uh, to go on a trip for a month to, um, to Europe last fall. And um, my suitcase was already pretty heavy, but I wanted, uh, sometimes the pressure on my ears is just too much. And so I wanted, a pair of um, uh, ear canceling uh, headset, noise canceling headsets, but they were kind of, you know, I didn't have a pair that was portable and, um, and they were bulky and I kind of defaulted and said, eh, you know, I can't fit another thing in my suitcase anyways. <laughs> so, so once, um, and that was probably a, a week and a half before I left. And so, that thought was there and it and the feeling of it was oh wouldn't it be wonderful to have that and yet i let it go i boarded the plane and i was in economy so you know as i got on the flight and was walking way way down i saw little packages on the seats and then as i got to my seat i saw there was this giant package there and i was like in awe because there was a set of um, the noise canceling headsets right there on my seat and not on any other seat in the plane and in that's in the economy section at least and so the the joy and the laughter and the oh, like wow I could hardly believe this you know this so it's those type of synchronicities that come up and that surprise you when they happen and, um, and, the, and, and the thing was, I could not plug this uh, particular headset in. And when that happened, um, I called over the flight attendant just before we were taking off. And he, and he looked at me and said, how did you 
how did you get these? Did we, did we give these to you? Because they're really meant for the world first class traveler. <laughs> you know? And I said, nope, they were on my seat. And he said, well, I'll bring you the right pair that, you know, the regular little ones that fit into the plug. But you know what? And he said, you could keep the other ones still. And the thing was, I didn't really care because it was a night flight and I just wanted the noise, you know, to be, um, to minimize the amount of noise, not necessarily to even have, have them plugged in so I could sleep. And um, it's amazing how the universe shows up and provides you what's needed. And that was just the beginning of that, that particular trip where all kinds of these um, synchronicities um, began to happen. And you, you begin to notice the interconnection of everything in your life how it's related and how it just connects so seamlessly. And, and that's what I would love to happen more and more for you. And so through this, um, through this particular um, uh, fun exercise we're going to do, there's the feeling part. And so what I'm gonna invite you to do is teach yourself how to to embody that feeling and for example and, and we'll work with uh, several different feelings that will support whatever um, um, whatever aspiration you have and so for example if if it was joy if it was the feeling of joy you're going to teach your body what does um you know, that feeling, what is joy? What is that in for you? What does that feel like for you? So for a moment, just go in, um, close your eyes, and what is joy? You're gonna teach your body what it feels like to be filled with great delight, excitation, elation. What does that feel like? What would that feel like if it's already here for you? Marianne, okay. sometimes what, um, what helps me, if I have an aspiration that brings about the feeling of joy, like, the, like if I want to walk on the beach because it's going to give me a sense of joy mm -hmm. um, and I want to find that feeling place, then uh, whatever, the, whatever that aspiration is and, and it, there's a joint feeling place, so if the feeling place is joy, sometimes it really helps to call up a time when I felt joy. And I mean, as an actor, that's, a, that's an amazing tool. We have yeah. this game called As If. So if I am someone who has to play a mother that has a, a newborn and I've never had a newborn child, I got to find something that equates to that and pull that up in my memory so it invokes the feeling in my body. And so what you're saying is that when you invoke that feeling in your body, the feeling, which is coming from your heart, is the magnetic part that brings, brings it to you. So when you, when you are looking for that feeling, um, it's kind of hard to pull it up out of a vacuum sometimes. So if you can remember a time when that feeling occurred, just bring your remembrance, allow yourself to be brought to that memory, and then pay attention to how it feels. Did that help? A little oh. acting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's beautiful. And, and, um, and you've got such great experience because that's something, uh, you know, as an act, yeah, as an actor, you would need to do that they pull it up yeah thank you very much people are saying thank you nia <laughs> and so um yeah that's wonderful and and yeah it's it's about um yeah being yeah that feeling part is so powerful so magnetic that's what's drawing it in and it's the the feelings of um, the elevated feelings. So of course, these are positive, elevated, um, and they move you forward in bigger and bigger ways. So um, 
are we ready to do the um, to to set this up to shape your future with the possibility at play here? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. 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 All right. And what I'm what I'm going to add this time to to the um, to this particular experience is add heart energy. This tuning fork is a 528 hertz frequency, um, and that's the frequency of love. And so as part of this meditate, as part of this experience, and you tell me if you can hear it, I hope you can. Um, I'm going to, you can hear, okay. And I don't, I want it to be so that, you, yeah. How about um, those of you who are on the phone? Can you hear it? Okay, absolutely. All right, I, I got Okay, awesome. Thank you. And so during this, during this um, experience, we're going to add, we're going to add this, uh, this um, heart vibration in the frequency of love in it to draw upon it. Um, and, and as a little tip or resource, there are many videos on YouTube about different frequencies. In 528, there's plenty of um, great videos out there where it has um, the different frequencies, including 528 hertz, the frequency of love, okay? So, and a lot of them are uh, great, um, great to do that. And, Yes, um, Nia, that would be fantastic if, yes. Nia has the heart um, chakra singing bowl. So we're gonna add that to the, to, the, um, to the experience too. So the heart, the heart chakra is um, attuned to, um, let's see, C, D, E, F, F on the scale, the musical scale. So, um, yeah. This might ring a little bit longer. Yeah. Is it a crystal one? Yeah. Crystal ball? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So let me know what you want. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, I love the crystal bowls. Okay. So, Nia, why don't you start us out? Let's first just, yeah, start us out for um, just, we'll get into that space. So, I invite you to close your eye. Uh, before, we, before we do that, one second. Um, you've all identified your aspiration that you're going to use in the experience, right? In shaping your future, you've selected one. Yes? Okay. Good. So that's what, when that part comes up, that's what you're going to call in, that aspiration or recall it. All right. Go ahead, Nia. Um, invite everyone to close their eyes.
as we're in that space, the heart space, bring to your awareness your aspiration. And let's breathe it in. So we're consciously breathing in this aspiration. So inhale deeply through your nose and we'll do it together. So inhale. And then exhale through your mouth. So you're releasing whatever has outlived its usefulness in your body. And we're allowing the new in. Inhale again. And exhale. And one more time, inhale the aspiration, bring it in. And exhale. And continue to breathe normally with your attention or awareness on your breath. So continue to do that because we are co-creating this and what's happening is we're weaving the different energy patterns. So it really is a weave the individual me to we, because we're all in this together with creation and weaving this. So continue to breathe and focus on the breath, your own breath, as you inhale and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, and then begin to place your focus on your root, your root chakra, and notice or allow the spiral to begin working with great love allow that energy to come up through the center of your body all the way To the top of your head and completely shower you with that energy and then again inhale the aspiration and then exhale And now we're going to connect with your heart. So place your attention on your heart. And if you like, you can place a hand on your heart. And you're going to start breathing from your heart. So inhale through the heart. And you can bring to mind something that you absolutely love. 
could be a new puppy that you're getting soon or that you have a child, a beautiful sunset. a piece of music that you hear that opens your heart, a painting, whatever it is for you, bring that to mind as you breathe from the heart, that love flowing in and then expanding on the exhale. Now continue to breathe from the heart, through the heart. And then with each breath you take, the field around you is expanding and that connection is expanding and we are all interconnected too. going to add the feeling we're adding the feeling of courage what is courage play with it what does courage feel like And you're going to teach your body what it feels like to be fearless, to go for your aspiration. So breathe that in, feel it. What would that feel like to be courageous? going to add the feeling of freedom. Breathe that in through your heart. Feel it. What is freedom? Teach your body what it feels like to be free, liberated. that feel like to be completely free notice what you're what you're sensing in your body Now, 
add inspiration to your heart. Allow inspiration to fill your heart. What is inspiration? Teach your body what it feels like to be, to feel empowered by a vision or an idea. What would inspiration feel like? And what is gratitude? Feel, allow the feeling of gratitude into your heart. Connect with gratitude. What would it feel like in your body to be completely and acknowledge receiving your aspiration? What would that feel like? Bring your awareness back to your heart. And breathe again in and out of your heart. Feel the expansion. And now, completely take one more deep breath, inhale, exhale, and come back into your body. And when you're ready, open your eyes.
Let me know when you're back for those of you that I can't see. <laughs> can feel the energy still really moving. Wow. We're having um, some of the comments are I'm happy. I feel limitless. Um, people are back. <laughs> yeah. And what I want to say about this is that this aspiration the energy of this will continue to expand for you and so the more you play with it in the sense of uh, letting go yet notice when you know when something else um, brings you that the the joy or the elevated experiences because those connections have been made already with that aspiration and so it's just a matter of, it's, it's really a matter of time releasing and allowing it to come to you. Wow. So this was very calming and powerful at the same time. And, um, and there was even tears for one person. So, wow, lovely. Nia, is there anything you'd like to say? Just that this is one of the reasons sound is so powerful um, because it can pull you right to that space, avoiding the traps, the trappings of your thought. <laughs> and, um, and that's a beautiful thing. So sound is a, is a very, very powerful way to do it. I know Joe Dispenza does, um, he has different meditations and I did a couple of week long advanced retreats with him and he goes through these 45 minute um, or one hour or hour and a half meditations that are incredible. Um, having you point, you know, place your awareness in different places in order to bring you to this space. And for me, if I just notice what songs make me feel a particular way, I can find the one that will drop me right into alignment of all my chakras and just listen to that a handful of times mm -hmm. and I'm there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, music is a powerful thing. Yeah. And matter of fact, the, the feeling part of this and, 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 and taking it into the body um, was inspired by um, some of Joe's workshops. Yes. So that was the inspiration for, for part of this meditation and, and, and bridging it and bringing the aspiration together with the feelings. Yeah. So thanks Nia for bringing that up because yeah, if you ever get a chance to participate in Joe's um, advanced um, week long workshops, Oh wow. They're amazing. Yeah. You know, the other thing I'd love to share is that when you find this place, this feeling place of love and appreciation and, and peace, it's a good time to allow your mind to begin creating to allow your mind to dream through things that you would desire. Mm -hmm. Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks, they call it milking it. So while you're in this frequency, stay there and allow yourself to wander into those places of creation that, mm -hmm. you know, the imagination, let it take you and milk it. So don't shut it right off. You're here. Now use your brain to, um, to drop things into, into the frequency. Exactly. And especially before, at least this has really worked for me, before I fall asleep at night. So even if I did something, you know, even several hours beforehand, just before I'm going to sleep, all of a sudden these ideas, things start popping in. So, um, and ask for them too. Ask them, you know, ask that they, that you be given information um, while you sleep. So... Um, Ellen, thank you for your kind words. She's holding uh, the vision for everyone. 
uh, that all the seeds that we just planted take root and flourish. So thank you for that. All right. Um, if the, uh, I know we're, you know, we're coming up to our time here, both tonight and for the four weeks. And I just want to tell you how grateful I am for the opportunity to be able and joyful to, to spend this time with all of you. And, um, and who knows where the future uh, can take us and what other possibilities at play will be available as we go forward. So thank you so much for being here. Does anyone have a question or anything before we take off? There is a question. Will there be more? <laughs> um, there, there probably will, yes. <laughs> um, there's going to be maybe a little bit of a gap. Um, Neil will talk about some things going forward. So we will certainly continue to play with possibilities at play and have um, maybe uh, another theme that we'll work with. How's that? You guys are so amazing and I'm very, very grateful for this time to co-create together for sure. And Marianne, thanks for leading us through all of this um, and sharing your wisdom and your experience with us. Cause it's, you know, it takes time to put these things together and we really appreciate it. Thank you. It's really been, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys have an amazing week and keep checking in with human harmonics to see what's coming up because we've got more live stuff happening. Yes. Blessings to everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye guys. Bye everybody. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Good night.